healthcare, first and foremost, or understand how it works, raise your hand. <laughs> right? Probably nobody does. If you're like me, you watch the news yesterday, you want to meet the press or anything on the news, you see there's been a lot of confusion about what's happening with healthcare and healthcare.gov. Right? So first thing I want to tell you is healthcare.gov affects none of you guys at all. Okay? The reason I'm saying that is because in California we have our own website which is coverca.com. And if you are like all Californians, we are more technically advanced than any other portion of the country. So we do not have to worry about that because we're just a little bit more brighter and a little more smart. <laughs> so let me talk about, so there's three things I want to discuss. I talk fast. If I talk too fast, raise your hand and stop me to pause on certain portions. So first thing we want to talk about is the current coverage that we have. Yeah, that's what it is. current coverage. What was already happening with your plan because of Obamacare, aka Affordable Care Act. Number two, I'm going to talk about individual coverage. How in January 1st, things are going to change regarding your individual coverage. You might already have letters from Blue Cross, Blue Shield, or your current health carrier. And if for also for your small business coverage, if not from also for your large employers, and just in case your spouses do have a large employer. And when we say large employer, we are referring to 50 or more small business, just the one to 50. Actually, go over to this side. Okay, let's talk about the current coverage of Obamacare. Right now, how many of you guys have kids who are underneath the age of 26? Raise your hand. All your kids be part of your health care without no problems. So you have a kid who's out of college, who does not have a job, or don't have a job to give them benefits. Your kid can now get health insurance underneath your plan. Okay? Which is a huge thing. Before, if your kid had to be 21, after that they dropped and they had to be in school. But now, even if your kids are not in school, you can cover them until the age of 26. Also, your preventative care is free with your insurance. So, first is how many guys, how many women on your annual mammograms now, instead of paying a copay, that is free once you go to the hospital. And if you do get a bill, that means your doctor is telling you or coding it incorrectly. Which is totally understandable now because coding for billing went from about 2,000 codes when that which means that how they tell the insurance company how much they owe them to now to 18,000 codes, which is a huge amount of form. Men on our annual fiscal or your prostate cancer checks, those are free also, which means you should not pay your copay. So if you do, notify your doctor saying, hey, you code my bill wrong. Okay? And last thing, there is no annual limits, all right, which is a huge thing. So for instance, I grew up, I played football. My friend Robert Watkins was paralyzed for a second. Right? The maximum coverage back then was a million or two million dollars for your health plan. And if you have, you know, him become paralyzed for a while, that bill got to a million. At that point, he couldn't get no more coverage. They were capped off. Which is huge when something drastic happens and somebody needs lifetime care. And I remember so sad was we had, we, as a football team, we raised money for him, for his family, for his health care and benefits. And thank God he's walked in here, doing a lot of hard work. But now, there's no annual limits. So if something does happen to a kid playing high school football, his family is taken care of forever without any limits, which is a huge thing. And those are the three things you're going to look at right now with the current Obama plan that all plans should have. So what's happening starting January 1st? January 1st? Everyone can, can get health insurance, right? No more can decline for health care. So if you're the person who had, might have diabetes or a heart set and you might try to get health insurance before, you can now get coverage, which is a huge thing. And actually, you can apply it now to get January 1st coverage. So first, I'm going to have a client right now who had a heart stent, can I get health insurance? But thank God for Obamacare and Affordable Care Act, she can now get health insurance so she doesn't go for bankruptcy. Because we all know the number one way people file for bankruptcy in America is due to health care expenses and costs. Right? By March 31st, everyone has to have health insurance. Right? It is the law. You have to purchase health insurance if your employer does not provide it for you. Okay? If you do not, you will be fined for it. All right? The third thing also, if you make a certain amount of income, your health insurance will be subsidized through the government. Right? So if you're a single person making below $49,000 a year, the government will subsidize it for you. Right? And if you're a family of four, it's about $92,000. And if you really want to do your calculation for it, you can go to CoverCA.com. 
for, the, for that number to see how much it will be subsidized for. Now, here's some things, especially as real estate agents that I want to tell you guys about. Say, for instance, you can, beginning of the year, you guys make it zero dollars, you have to make zero sales. February, you're making tons of money, right? Close a big deal. You have to notify the government that, hey, I make more money now if you're getting the subsidy, yeah. which is a huge thing. If not, you will be fined and penalized mm -hmm. for not notifying the government that they should take off the subsidy plan, right? And they should not be subsidizing for you. And like everybody else, you do not want to be fined or subsidized. So one, let people know if you do get part, if you do take the subsidy. Last thing, which I think is a good thing also, kids now, all health insurance plans for kids have dental insurance. Oh, that's good. Right. So all kids now, free clean, get cleans and everything else with it. Up to age 18. Is it free clean? It's not free clean, it's part of all plans. So you will have to pay deductible, but it's included in all plans. So now you'll have to pay for health insurance and dental insurance. For them, you're just paying strictly just for health insurance, which is a huge thing. <clears throat> now you say, how can I purchase health care now because health care is changing? There's two ways you can get it. One thing is you can go to Cover California, which is CoverCA.com. And if not, you can talk to your agent still who is certified. If you're not talking to an agent who's certified, that means they cannot sell Cover California. Right? I went through about 15 hours just to get certified to sell CoverCA.com. All agents should be, so make sure they are certified. And if not, there are nonprofits who are, are selling CoverCalifornia.com for giving advice for it. The only thing is they cannot tell you what's in and out of the network. Okay? Also, you can purchase your health insurance from your regular insurance carrier, your broker, and regular websites if you do not want to take the subsidies plan. Okay? Can you keep your current insurance if you are happy with it? No. <laughs> oh yeah, number one, that is a false. Do not believe that. I don't care what the president said. That is a false statement. It was false, and they do it all wrong. That is a false statement. Right now, if you can get Blue Cross Blue Shield, he sent out 300,000 letters telling people that your plan will change. And it's not towards, a, I'm going to be honest, it's not a better plan for a lot of people. Your plan though, might have a higher deductible or a higher copay or a higher out of pocket match. It does not necessarily mean. The reason plans are not grandfathered in is a few things. One thing, all plans have maternity coverage, male or female. Right, so you get pregnant, you're covered. <laughs> right? 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 Second thing, all plans now is free physical, so that might not be. Also, your annual limits, there's no more annual limits with it. And also, if you have a kid child that had autism before, they were not able to get health insurance with autism. Now those plans automatically have with autism, which is a huge thing. Okay. Also, if you do not purchase your health insurance by March 31st, you cannot purchase health insurance until open enrollment again in October. So, for instance, you like, oh, you know, health insurance, I'm fine, I'm be okay. And you finally have cancer, you want to get health insurance. You cannot get it until October for open enrollment again. And, and you have to pay the penalty. And, and you have to pay the penalty, and you don't have to pay your own bills until you get to October open enrollment all over again. Unless I go to the emergency room. And you're going to pay those bills at the emergency room as well. They bill you. Okay. That's why people file for bankruptcy all, all the time. <laughs> and it's because, you know, remember, one night, they say okay. one night nationwide to stay overnight in a hospital about six grand. Yeah. Which is expensive. Oh, right. ACA. Affordable Care Act is ACA or Obamacare. Correct. This aspect, does it have any impact or effect on Medicare already people enrolled in Medicare? It does not affect people on Medicare right now, but it does expand, it does expand Medicare. Right? So if you go to coverca.com or you talk to a broker or go to your open enrollment counselors, they're going to base off your income. They're going to put it in there. They say you're not going to, you can't get over on Affordable Care Act, but you can qualify for Medi-Cal. And then you can get on Medi-Cal based off your income and how many people in your household. And that's how it works for that. Okay. Now let me tell you guys the great thing about Cover California. In the back. So with the Cover California, this is the only place where you can get the tax subsidy. So for instance, Blue Cross Blue Shield might have sent you a letter. Has anybody got any of those letters yet? Regarding your curve? There are similar letters saying you're not grandfathered in. We're going to automatically enroll you with those. Those plans, since it's directly from the carriers, do not give you the tax subsidy. You're going to have to go to Cover California for that subsidy. Okay? 
which if you read in the news, people, people who did not know and people were kind of complaining about how they automatically enroll with those plans. With those plans, all plans are divided up by bronze, silver, gold, and platinum plans, which means it breaks down each one is based off the medical expenses with the plan. Some plans are super, it's actually going to be better than the plans in gold, okay? Besides Kaiser, because Kaiser, you, once you go to Kaiser, you're going to have to go to Kaiser. But other plans within the subsidies, and this is why Kaiser rates is drastically going up. Other carriers, because of the subsidy and the plus of the network, their networks are getting smaller by 20 to 80 percent, right? So half the doctors are probably not going to get, if not part of, Cover California if you have Blue Cross or Blue Cross Cancer. So now one, if you do go through California, call your doctor and make sure your plan has it. Okay? Because if not, you go to your doctor, he might not have it, which is a huge thing. And what I'm looking at is you want to have doctor visits to be part of the subsidy, you want to have to have long time just to see your doctor. Because the networks are small, right? Smaller networks means less doctors, which means you're going to get more volume of sales because you're getting less of a cut. From the, from the government to subsidize it as well. Unless you have Kaiser. Kaiser is the only one. But Kaiser rates have drastically increased the premiums. The premiums have, everybody should keep it honest. But most people, your rates are more than likely are going to go up. More than likely it will be. So that's going to be a fact. Don't believe the hype that you see your premiums going down. What I'm seeing across the board right now, premiums are going up. Especially for my friends who are between ages of 26 to 46, you're going to take one of the costs for it. All right? Because now, younger people, because they have a ratio called 3 to 1, which means one plan that covers a 26-year-old can only be three times as much as somebody who's older. So how you how you risk convert that is raising the rate for younger people for it to be a, just three times as much as it would be for somebody older. Also, if you're a tobacco smoker, now you pay the same rate as non-tobacco smokers. That's a California thing. Jerry Brown signed that. Wow. Right. So, which means if you're a healthy person, you don't smoke, you work out, stay in shape, you're paying the same price, price in California as your friend who's a chain smoker who smoked back to back cigarettes now. That's just <laughs> that's the law. If you're, if you're making less than $48,000 a year, $49,000 roughly, you can get subsidized to serve up to a certain percentage once you put the calculator on Cover California. And it will subsidize those plans for you. Just remember, those plans network is smaller, but it will be able to be subsidized for you. Okay, now, can you talk about the dental again? Now, not every plan is going to have dental, right? I mean, for kids. For kids. For kids only. Okay. Kids only. So, um, this might be a lender question, but the debt to income ratio for our clients. You said, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but this is probably going to cost the average home buyer more money as far as medical insurance goes? Yes. Is there anything that's going to change in the lending field regarding debt? Yeah. Income? Oh, we're, we're not going oh, to that. that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if they are now. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I don't think we're going to There's nothing in, that's been talked about. But remember, the, this law is going to constantly change. So right. this is a growing, I always say this law is the biggest drastic change since the Reagan Tax Reform Act back in 1984. And it's still growing and it's going to be changed. So in next month, I guarantee there will be some changes going on with it. Well, you bring up a good point. That, you know, it's going to reduce the amount of disposable income people have. So it's going to, you know, bring down the demand for housing. I mean, it, it, it has to, you know. Uh, you know, the, the price that people bid and, and so forth. It's going gonna, it's gonna to put a kink in that, but it's just a question of how much, you know? Correct. But, but the, my, I have a question about long-term care. Okay. Now, you know, I have long-term care insurance. Correct. Okay. Now, what changes there? What it, changes? it changes nothing with long-term care insurance at all. Okay, so now when you're talking about someone's covered for life, if they get injured, you're talking kids? I'm talking kids and adults, as far as the health insurance, not long-term care costs. Okay. So your long-term care insurance, if you guys don't have it, it's for your assistance. So if you need nursing home care, or you go to a nursing facility, or any nursing assistance at all, like you need help bathing, eating, getting dressed, or you have Alzheimer's, you need assistance with that, that is going to be covered under these long-term care. This is just for medical, ex for medical care, health care costs. And then disability is just give you a paycheck and you do get sick, so for cash, it still be coming no matter what. Okay.
four more minutes. We're gonna make this fast. All right. All right. Outside of Covered California, you have the same plan, same price, but your networks are gonna be bigger outside of Covered California than you do within it, except for Kaiser, because Kaiser cannot refuse it. All right. Also, there's gonna be more plans and options with outside of Covered California compared to what's in Covered California. So if you want more options, or you want a bigger network, or you want your doctor, you're probably going to go outside of Covered California. And I always tell people, the only reason you're going through Covered California is if you get the subsidy. If not, you should buy the plan outside of Covered California. Right, because the same exact plan, same pricing. And so just give people a heads up on that. Right? So what's the penalty if you don't have coverage? Right? You have to wait till October, right? If not, you have to have a life changing event. You turn 26, you could, yeah, you could apply. You get married, you change, and you get part of it. You apply for health insurance. If you get married, have kids, or any life, major life changing event, you could get it. First year, next year, if you don't, the fine's only $295. So it's really not that bad of a fine. It's still a fine. Huh? <laughs> what, are, excuse me, what are the fines after the first year? After that, it goes to 2.5% of your income. Oh, that is fine. From yeah. last year's taxes? On your on that year in taxes, correct. Wow. And they hired fifteen thousand more auditors to audit you too. Oh boy. <laughs> Are these IRS? Oh, the exemption. If you the only exemption you really have not to buy health insurance is you're part of the uh, Native American or Alaskan or Native oh, Alaskans. Veterans. Veterans. Huh? Or and veterans as well. But those are the three only people who are who don't have to get health insurance. Okay. If you're a small business owner, you don't have to offer health insurance from one to fifty. You don't have to, but the government will subsidize it through a separate company called Shop California. And the Shop California works the same way. There's gold, platinum, silver plans for you. And the network is smaller, but if you're, the way you get subsidized is your annual income for your employees, not for you, is below $49,000 a year. You'll subsidize up to 50% of the premiums for you. For profit and for nonprofits, as a heads up. How many more minutes I got? Are you got until 9.25? 9.25, we're gonna make this real fast for you guys, right? The networks are still in Shock California, compared to California, remember, outside of the subsidies, your networks are gonna be larger unless you're with Kaiser, okay? You guys can contact me, and you guys want this part afterwards, regarding the healthcare change, but we'll see you